Welcome to part 8 of my procedural node series in Blender. Today we're going to take a look at creating this simple marble texture. First thing I'm going to do is size this on the Z axis. Apply that scale. Come over here to the modifiers and put on a bevel modifier and change the segments to 5. Then I'm going to enable smooth shading. Go into top view. I'm going to split my screen and open up the shader editor. And uh, yeah, I've got the principled BDSF shader. This is going to be a fairly basic marble material. And I feel like one of the easiest ways to do that, uh, get that marble type shape, is to distort a noise texture with another noise texture along the vector line. So I'll show you what that means. I've brought in a noise texture here, and I'm just going to hit Control T, which is a Node Wrangler shortcut, and it brings up the texture coordinate and mapping nodes. And I'm going to plug object into a uh, vector there and bring in another noise texture and just put it on this line move it up and bring in a mix RGB and put it here. And I'm going to plug object into the bottom socket there. And If we look at what's happening I'm going to bring in a color ramp so it's more contrasted here as well. I'm just going to bring in these values that's a little bit much. There we go. So this uh, mix RGB is now a controller for how much influence this noise texture has on this texture right here. If we bring it all the way to the right, it's like this texture isn't even here. It has no influence. And if we bring it all the way to the left, it has total influence. So it might be a bit much. 0.5 would be in the middle. Uh, a lot of times you end up setting this quite high at something like 0.9. Um, so anyways, we are going to come over here and set up this noise texture at 3.5, 2, and 0.3. And then this other one, we're going to set it at 3, no sorry, 2, and 5, just like that. Then we're going to set this mix at 0.5. This doesn't look too bad so far, but my reasoning for the next step is I kind of wanted to make these areas less uniform and just have a texture up here in the middle there. And so I decided on doing kind of a Voronoi distance to edge texture. And uh, that's the same thing that Syncretic did in his tutorial. So I borrowed that idea from him. I uh, thought it was a great idea. So I'm going to show you how to do that. We're going to bring in a Voronoi texture and set it to distance to edge. And then the scale is going to be a little higher. We're going to set it to 15. And then we're going to hit Control T and bring up the texture coordinate and mapping nodes. Move over this guy here a little bit. And we're going to actually bring in a noise texture. I'm just going to duplicate this one here and duplicate this mix RGB as well. And then plug these into the object output there. And uh, yeah, we've got the Voronoi texture distorted by this noise texture on the vector line. And we're going to set the scale to 10 and the detail, we'll leave it 5. Uh, that's good. And then this mix, we're going to set this at 0.85, just like this. I'm going to bring in another color ramp and place it on this line here. just like this. And I'm going to bring this white value down a little bit. This is going to go to 0.48 and then this black value. Um, I'm going to change this to kind of middle gray at 0.5 there. That looks good. And then uh, while we're at it, let's come up here and set these values to more exact uh, values here. So this black is going to be 0.32 and this white is going to be 0.85. So that was pretty much what it was anyways, but now it's exact. I just realized that if you have different Z dimensions than I get as well, you'll get a different image here. So if you're okay with that, you don't have to change this part. But if you want to get the exact image I have, come over to here, and you're going to need to hit N to get this little shelf to appear. You come up to the item. This is in object mode. And just set your dimensions the same as I've got here. 1.9 for X, 1.9 for Y, and 0.219 for Z. And once you've done that, just hit Control A and apply that scale. Next up we're going to mix these two color ramps together. So we can just do that pretty easily just like this. Create a mix RGB and I'm going to set this to 0.15. Then I'm going to bring in another color ramp and place it here. And I'm going to set this black value at 0.25 and leave that white value at 1. And so now we've got this image here. So next up, we are going to set up the color. And I'm going to use a color ramp to do that. I'm actually going to set six points on here. 
So let's do that. This first point is going to be at point 2. Then I'm going to set this last point at point 6, 7. And then I'm going to put four points in the middle here. This one's going to be at point 3, 5. The next one's going to be at point 4, 5. The next one's going to be at point 4, 9. And the, the last one's going to be at point 5, 8. Just like that. For the two end points, I set both of those to a white value. I'm going to go ahead and change that here. And then this value here, I changed this to kind of a slightly blue-gray value. So let's just try something like this. Um, you know, that looks pretty good. This next one here, I left this as gray. Let's just see what that looks like. That looks fine, just in the middle there. This next one here, I put to almost white, maybe something like this. And then this last value here, I put this again to kind of a blue-gray color. Let's copy this one here, but make it a bit darker, just like this. So let's look at our material and how it's coming along. That looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and plug this color into the base color right here. And make sure your roughness is turned down as well. I already turned mine down. It's set at 0 0.05 now. So click on this guy here and uh, that looks pretty good. So that's it. Uh, now that we've got it all set up though, let's take a look at how we might play around with this. Uh, the truth is you can play around with pretty much any of these nodes and it changes this texture quite a bit. Let's look at an example here, changing this last color ramp. Could maybe move this over here. Oh, that's pretty cool. We could adjust any of these other ones here. Um, it's got some interesting stuff we could do here. Um, that's quite cool. We could come over here, adjust any of these mix factors or any of these other color ramps. Um, yeah, seriously, you can do a lot of different stuff with this texture. So I really encourage you to play around with all of these parameters and see if you can figure out how they're all affecting this final image here on the right. And if you're able to do that, you're going to learn a whole bunch about these nodes and how they affect it. Thanks for watching.